everyone, it's me, QP83. And Barbie0913. And we are here with another convention... Uh, goodies? Yeah, convention goodies sort of video. Uh, so another year, another puddle. Puddle is a pull-up convention held in Elk Grove Village. It was actually its 10th year. It's 10th um, anniversary. So it's 10th anniversary. Happy anniversary, Puddle! Yay! Cheers! It was a very uh, busy weekend for us. We had... We had Puddle, we had uh, Naperville Doll Show, and then a family event. So we're kind of like running on steam still. <laughs> yeah, trying to get these out before we forget like the important bits. <laughs> right, because I wanted to play with things and not just hold everything. So. Right. So yes, Puddle, um, for those who don't know, like I said, Puddle celebrates Pull Up. Um, it started as like a little fan gathering at a local uh, Japanese grocery store mm -hmm. gathering place. Mm -hmm. Um, called Mitsuwa, and then it has grown in its 10 years to uh, feature, uh, to be in a hotel and have over 180 100 people sign up for it. 67, I think. 167, I remember the number. Yeah, so it's insane. It's it's quite a nice, like, fan meetup slash buy-sell trade. It's still manageable, <laughs> so it's still manageable. Yeah, yes, totally. Um, so we're going to uh, show you what we got during Puddle um, through the goodie bags and the stuff we actually purchased. So did you want to, to begin? Sure. Well, I mean, we can talk about, this is the first year we actually did dioramas. Yeah. So we made, um, we each made a diorama and then I did a mini for the contest. So this is the only one that's out here really is the one that actually mm -hmm. won something. It won second prize and I'm so excited because I had my husband and my son, I said, think, think, help me figure out something for months and months and months. And of course they failed me. So finally I went to the craft store and just figured out something myself and it came in second. So I'm yeah. very happy. And it spins. It spins around. Mm -hmm. And my prize was this little mini. Little white rabbit. Yes. And um, um, a few other little tiny little things, a little piece, a little cup, uh, things that would go with the mm -hmm. mini land. So I'm excited. That was yeah, fun. Yeah, that was great. We never win a custom contest. Well, we so. haven't really tried all the ones. So, <laughs> no. you know, maybe we'll start thinking for next year already. Yeah, but it was nice. We both entered dioramas for best in theme, which was mm -hmm. tea party. And uh, while we didn't win best in theme, we won um, consolation prizes. So shoes, shoes for Taeyang from the My Select line, um, which is great. And my boy is wearing his shoes right now. So uh, it was nice. It was a yeah. nice little extra. It was. Um, well, why don't we start? This, um, I adopted this girl. Her name is Emily because I adopted her from Emily. And Emily makes lovely little dresses for pull-ups. Really cute little stuff. Um, the hat she is wearing was a door prize. Yeah, that's by Hegemi. Hegemi, okay. Yeah, and on Etsy. And you got one from... I also took a hat as a door prize. This is, uh, this boy went to puddle in the most dorky outfit you can ever imagine. It was like a paisley kind of ken top and then like navy pants, like if you were in the navy and you needed to wear dress pants. That's, like, that's what it was. They were all old Ken clothing. So he came to the show and uh, he was bald too at that point, but he ended up getting this hat made by Hegemi as well as the door prize. Uh, and since I'm on him, his jacket was actually pre-ordered um, by the people that make the uh, Kaleidoscope uh, jackets who have been at Puddle all the years we've been there, which is four, three or four. Yeah, about four. So um, they custom made this trench coat for him. We could just count our jackets. And yeah, know. that's true. <laughs> and then there's a long sleeve uh, shirt here and jeans that I got from Mota, who was like an amazing seller. Her stuff was awesome. So he came looking like a dork, and he, he left looking kind of he like really looks cool. he works on a ship or something. He <laughs> well, you wanted him to be a weasley -ish. Yeah, he kind of looks like a Weasley because he also has this adorable wig. Which I do need to attach oh, to his head properly, but he didn't have this wig when I uh, came to the show. So. He was a sad little boy when he came. Yeah. <laughs> now he's happy and he looks like a Weasley boy. So that uh, those were a lot of my purchases all in one pull-up. Wow. And um, this dolly that I adopted, she is a Tanku, which is a hybrid. So it's pull-up and Blythe together 
and uh, she has a, the iMac and it's a really cool iMac and it's really easy to use so I really adore her and on the uh, kaleidoscope coat end I brought a um, Huju and um, she's a very pink girl so I was able to get her a short jacket a little elf jacket yeah and it looks from super kaleidoscope cute coats yes if you go to Puddle, you should expect to spend money at the Kaleidoscope. Everybody uh, should buy something from Kaleidoscope. It's awesome. They're on Etsy. There's a lot of different uh, places to find them. Mm -hmm. So they make the cutest coats and they will special order for the doll that you want to get it for. Yes. So I also picked up some eye chips, um, which is sad because I have no make it own kits to actually stick these in. Not the as one, sad as mine, though. The one thing uh, that was not being sold in a in, you know good amount was make it own kits make because i guess production on them is really light at the moment and they're hard to get so there was one booth that had like a make it own isul kit they had about four of them they were 45 dollars i wanted to put the 45 dollars into clothing for my pull-ups so i didn't end up buying one um but i did end up buying eye chips here from pull-up party they are super cool looking, super realistic with some earthy sort of tones to them. So I look forward to sticking them in someone. I just have to get those make it own kits first. You do. And then I also got some Kira Kira eye chips in my goodie bag. So they're just brown, very earthy as well. Now I went and bought some eye chips from Pull Up Party too. But I should have looked in my little bag first because in my bag, I guess I got lots of eye chips. I got four of them without a make it own body to put on there. So uh, Kira Kira, I can't remember who did these. I don't know um, who did those. Not more like glass them. ones. Really cute stuff. So now I really need a make she it own like kit. like the mother load of eye chips, eye chips in her goodie bag. I had one pair. She and eyelashes. Like four. And we did get eyelashes, you, which you I never it. used. So uh, I have the eyelashes. So. I, had, I had two necklaces. Yes, I also got the same uh, necklaces. Spoon. Is yours a musical note? Mm, no, mine's a leaf. Oh, and mine's a musical spoon. Note. Yeah, the spoon is from Puddle. The musical note is from Eternally Yo er, Eternally Rose. I didn't know they were different. Yeah, oh. yours are different. And um, as a gift, I think this is probably because it was the anniversary. Mm -hmm. Everybody got a Puddle mug. Yeah, really awesome. nice. It is really a nice mug. As far as something else that I brought to the show with me, I brought a Blythe that I got on eBay. Um, that she had some issues. We were able at home to fix her eye mechanics a little bit, but we couldn't get the faceplate off her. So that I wanted, I wanted to get her customized. So a shout out to Colin because Colin came to our rescue and he <laughs> was able to take the faceplate off and then I was able to bring it to Doll Angel and she's going to work on it for me. So thank you, Colin. Yes. <laughs> you were my savior because we tried for hours and hours. My husband could not figure it out and he did not want to break the doll and just a few moments and Colin was able to take it off. <laughs> so. Thank and you. did you learn what he did? So if we were to get another one. Yeah, apparently there's like a pressure point and if you hold it the face here and squeeze it in, it's supposed to pop off. Oh. But yeah, your father wasn't even going to try that. No. So um, I brought her to Doll Angel and I can't wait for her to be work done. Yeah. And at Doll Angels, I also bought one of the little fuzzy teddy hats because I have to buy a fuzzy teddy hat when I buy Doll Angels cute. booth. Her mom makes these, right? Yeah. I think so, yeah. They are adorable and they fit the dolls really well. So I ended up getting um, board shorts for Tang, just because, like I said, he didn't have any clothing. So I wanted to at least have some clothing if I got another Tang or if he wanted to switch out of this. So I got some board shorts from the little iron bed. The price was really nice uh, and I thought they looked kind of cute. They did. And we entered some raffles while we were there. You yes, could we did. buy raffle tickets, put your little ticket in whichever little bag you want to <laughs> try to win something off of. Uh, I won some Tayang clothes. So this guy was originally dressed as an American Isle contestant, but afterwards, this was one of the outfits we won the pants mm -hmm. and another shirt. So he's wearing that. So I won. I, I was lucky on that. That was yeah. fun. And I ended up winning a uh, My Melody gift set from. Cornflower Blue. Uh, so she, in this set, had this adorable, it's actually a pull-up outfit, not a doll outfit, but I didn't have a pull-up to put it on. So she's gonna wear it right now. Uh, so it's That's this adorable cute. outfit. Super, super cute. 
Um, and then also inside this uh, was a tiny little glass My Melody, a like a car, a car, a little car, and a sleep mask <laughs> like that. So I thought that was cute. I think she had another set that might have been Hello Kitty. It was Hello Kitty. Um, but I thought this one was cuter. So that one was cute. Yeah, so I won this. I was super happy. And uh, so one thing with the raffle, raffles, just so you know, you can only win one raffle. So if you're going to puddle, you have to consider, do you want to put all your raffle tickets in one bucket? Or do you want to spread them out? So something to and, consider. And if they pull your name more than once, then they ask you, all right, your name was pulled here, your name was pulled here. Which one would you like the, of the prizes? And then they'll pull a new name for the other one, which is really nice because then more people can win a raffle. Yeah. And this year they had a nice big group of raffle prizes. They also had silent auction. And then they have special raffles, which is a little more pricey, and it goes towards a doll. Mm -hmm. um, and the um, proceeds of the raffle tickets goes to their um, charities. Yes. And they had over 20 different, which is normal, raffle yeah, they prizes. Did. They over 20 at least. And then they had six special raffles, which was great too. We didn't win any of the special raffles, but that's okay. That's all right. We These guys are plenty. Money. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Dopped a doll. There we go. She didn't have to be mint in box. So another thing, another vendor that we both shopped from was Mota, uh, Mota the Algodon's booth. I may have butchered her last name, but it's M-O-T-A, and um, she had this like amazing assortment of beautiful clothing. So this was the one my mom bought. It is adorable. It came with the socks. It's got this pretty little lace underneath. It's adorable. Really nicely made. So cute. And then I bought this one, which was meant for a pull-up as well, but it kind of fit the style's expression more, or her face up. Plus, I don't have a pull-up to stick it on at the moment, so I figured I would just put it on her. So this was one of her uh, outfits as well. She also made the jeans and the sailor shirt my boy is wearing, um, but this is this was just too cute. And she had these little cotton candy things. Oh yeah, my cotton candy. So over cute. There. I liked her headbands. Like her headbands were super unique. I, I wanted to buy the dessert ones. Too. I really should have bought one. I didn't. So one thing Puddle likes to do is have a craft activity each year because it's not a your typical convention where you have breakout panels and you're going to different rooms and doing this and doing that. It's very much like a one room sort of large fan meetup sort of vibe um, where you're talking and shopping and talking and shopping and entering the contest and shopping and talking. Taking pictures. <laughs> Taking pictures. A lot of that stuff. Um, but the craft is a really nice element to it and this year uh, was one of the better crafts and it was hat making. So this is not a perfect example of what there, they were doing. Neither is mine. <laughs> but it's we were making like Kate Middleton hats. <laughs> um, and the person who was running the booth was like amazing at making these like flowers and things out of felt. Like she did amazing things. Mm -hmm. I didn't even try to make my own felt flowers. She I was did, yes. like, let's I take your sample. Uh, so like the Sasha over there is wearing a hat. She had all the all the different types of fabric and tool and stuff you would need to make a gorgeous hat. But now we know what to do and we can buy the stuff and make it at home. Yeah. So this is, this started out as a normal hat and then this was on our table. Mm -hmm. um, so I just decided since this didn't turn out as pretty as I wanted it to, to attach it to this hat. And then she could wear it like that. So that was really cool craft. I, I really liked it. I ended up making a really good one for my, uh, that my, my ballerina doll is wearing at the moment. So oh. we'll put that in with the pictures. Because that was one of your companion dolls and yes. I brought Sasha as my companion doll yeah. to hang out and come to the show. Yeah, so that was a really awesome craft. So awesome job too. I think Joan was running that booth. So awesome shout show. out to, uh, to Joan. She also made like, I assumed that she made these because it said inside the bag to come over to the craft table. But there were these cute little like tea bag things. I got this in my goodie bag. It says Puddle 10th Anniversary and it's a cute little tea bag. I didn't get one. It's so cute. It wasn't in my bag. You had four eye chips. I know, that was kind of <laughs> weird. Usually they so do the, cute. usually they do the, well, the last few times we've gone, they had um, bags that were if you 
um, got your ticket early, you got a different bag than other people. This is supposed to be just everybody had the same kind of bag. So it's kind of funny that I got all those eye chips in there. <laughs> that is really weird. It was like the last bag they filled. I'll just stick all of it oh, there. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that was awesome. So kudos to uh, to Joan who was running that booth. Um, what else should we discuss? This year they had table hosts. I think it kind of worked and it kind of didn't work um, because it's not assigned seating and it, there aren't a lot of activities that need to take place at a table. Just a, a raffle that was at your table. That was right. Added. Just the one one raffle activity. Um, so I don't know if that. I don't know how that worked out, to be honest, because we didn't have a real table host. So, it's hard to say. Some table hosts, He was a pinch seemed... hit hitter he, at the last minute. His girlfriend was supposed to, yeah. to be the host, but uh, an emergency Could came up, come. so he kind of said, I'll man the boat. Um, yeah. yeah. But there were some table hosts that were not, you know, pinch hitters, that they, like, put a ton of effort into their tables, so... It was interesting to see Yeah. To see there that. was a lot of really creative stuff going yeah. on. Yeah. So we'll see if they do that next year. I like the idea of having a table host. I just think maybe there should be m more than one activity where you need to be at your table. If or have them run like a customizing thing, like have them choose a craft to only have their table make or something. Right, well like when you do a Barbie convention, I mean those are the people that you have dinner with, you have lunch with, those are the mm -hmm. people at your table. So they always bring like something a little gift for everybody and then the next event you go to they might bring another event and then all the people in your group also bring a little something for everybody yeah. just something small um, you know it, it takes a while to get that to click to so. click yeah. yeah but I mean there were some it was nice seeing a lot of variety on the tables because as a table host you could decorate your table however you wanted and some were like really cool Woo! over so. the head wow really yeah. nice stuff but it, it's fun to go around and see everybody's stuff. There's usually the um, take something free table where it's things that people don't want in a big box and you look around and then there's the trade and buy table. And some people also have boxes that they keep by their table and you go to their table yeah. and then look in their box and buy things. I think there was fewer of that this year. There was. I only saw one person doing it unless they did it more. There's a pre pre-parties and stuff you can go if you stay at the hotel and you get in the day before you can do more stuff with the group of people that are at the hotel right we just drive in for it and drive back so we right. miss that stuff so there might have been more things going on for that and it might be more fair to the people that actually bought a vendor table to not have as much buy sell trade at a physical table that's another thing they, they might have stopped it a little bit and kind of kept it on the Low. What's he putting his necklace, necklace on? Yeah, I'm trying to put his necklace on. He's trying to put his necklace He's on. He's not being super... Most of my pull-up dolls and minis, they were all in um, the diorama, so I only... Base, I brought Hooju's with me to sit at the table, and Sasha, and then my uh, Tenku, which I really do like her. She is very cute. Yeah. And I love that. She's got this big rod in the back of her head that makes <laughs> it so easy to change her eyes. And Emily did the face up. It was like her second face up she ever tried, and I thought she was adorable. Oh, we had cake. Yes. So tea party. They brought out cake for the tenth anniversary of Puddle. It was good cake. It was actually nice because there's a long time in between when mm -hmm. you ate your lunch, and you could get box lunches if you wanted to order them this year. We just bring our own lunch in a bag, um, but I know I was getting hungry, and even though there was mm -hmm. some candy on the table, it was my stomach was starting to growl so it was really nice to have a little dessert yeah it was, I thought that was, was something nice. good yeah um, but overall it was a fun year again I think Puddle is a really fun event the timing was a little off on uh, when things were supposed to start yes but you know it was the 10th anniversary so they had right. a lot to do and they had a lot more people and a lot more people entering contests yeah right so and yes. plus I think when you have like you have table hosts, and there you have to, like people asking you if you're the showrunner of something, and you're setting up all the tables. You can get it done, but then if you have all these added people, like volunteers and table hosts, then they're all asking you questions, and you can't get what you want to get done. So I can understand how it could start. Oh, this was also in our, our bag from Kaleidoscope. It's just a little yeah, shawl cute. for a doll. You put their arms through there, and then close it up. It's really cute. Yeah. It's a fun fan event, though. A lot of people stopped by and said they watched the channel, so huge shout-out to everyone that said they watched. Oh, this was from Timmy Lynn. 
hair accessories. Those I were love cute. hair accessories for the pull-ups. They're just the right size. I have a teddy bear. So I think we should all learn to make them and then give them to Puddle. Yes. Because we can use them. Uh, so Puddle is held yearly in Illinois, so if you are thinking of coming, check out their website. I believe it's PuddleStyle.com. Um, and keep up to date with them via the website or via their Facebook page. Um, yeah, I don't remember what time they start registration again. When they do start registration, uh, early bird gets the worm, especially if it's sold out this year, so don't hesitate. There were people from Canada, there were people from Indiana, some people come in from far. California. Uh, um, Carolinas, I think. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of people from outside of Illinois. And it was nice to, to talk to you. You came up to us and you've watched our channel. It was really nice to meet yeah. you. Um, a, a lot of families, a lot of mother-daughter uh, mm -hmm. go there, a lot of some family groups. Yeah. I like seeing the young kids at these things because yeah. sometimes doll conventions or like some hobbyists can be kind of like oh no, this is not for children, don't touch this, don't breathe on this, oh no. But in reality, you know, these are dolls. So. Shout, out, shout out to Brock's little sister. She got her first pull up at yeah. the show. She got to join her brother and her dad and her mom was there and another little sister. So yeah. this is the future. The yeah, future exactly. Of and it should be, you know, I love seeing like the little kids in the dress like me contest and all that stuff. So they are so excited and they're so cool about it. And that's the way the hobby is going to continue anyways. So yeah. we have to keep embracing the younger collectors. Oh, this I got a little <laughs> hanger and actually it's a teapot. teapot. Oh, is that a teapot? It's a teapot right there. Oh. It's I cut out of the teapot for the thing. I couldn't tell what mine was because it was on a black card. So it's hard for that's me. That's why card. I read Jane's postings from Facebook. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so um, thanks Jane for doing another great show. Yeah. And we'll see you next year. Yeah, we'll see you next year. If you guys have any questions about Puddle, leave them in the comment area. We will get back to you. Um, I will write a post and put some pictures up on my blog. Oh, and, oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 oh. At, at our table, um, um, we had a, um, a young lady who's going to be having a baby soon. Yes. So, um, you know, happy baby. Yes, congrats. It was really nice meeting you and, and your whole family. Yes. <laughs> As I said, it's a family affair. It was cool. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see you next year. Yeah. Bye.